Why Fantasia for the world premiere? Because Fantasia's the coolest, that's why. This is the world premiere, and uh, I think I speak for everybody involved when I say I couldn't be happier that Montreal is popping our cherry. Season Zero! All right, so tell us a little bit about Chain. Uh, Chain stars Vincent D'Onofrio, Julia Ormond, Eamon Farron, and uh, Evan Bird and uh, is about a serial killer who's a taxi driver who picks up a fare uh, of a mother and a, a son. Hey, hon, it's us. Uh, we are in a cab and we're on the way home. Love you. Um, excuse me, that was our exit. Mom? I've got a child back here and you're beginning to scare the bejesus out of me. And he makes quick work of the mother. And keeps the boy for 10 years. This is not helping my fear of taxi drivers. What's your name? A rabbit. How long have you been here? Since I was nine. 10 years? I had no idea. 10 years. Yeah. You only eat what I have left in my plate. This is your world. I can still distinctly remember, and I mentioned to Carolyn on our way in for the premiere, that uh, I can remember the night I sat down at my desk to write the first uh, 20 pages, and the opening where young Tim climbs up onto this uh, desk in, uh, in Bob's kill room and gets his mum's bloody driver's licence out of the tin. Uh, that was the first thing I wrote, and then he runs to the door counting one through to ten to allow Bob in with his next victim. It seems like yesterday, but it was ten years ago. And uh, when I wrote it, I thought, Jesus is good, this needs to be seen. <laughs> but uh, in reality, I thought it probably never would be. I hoped it would be, but to get here ten years later is just the just most incredible thing. <laughs> From now on, it is only me, you, and them. And what was it like uh, casting all these girls pretty much to be on screen for five minutes and murdered? Like You'd be surprised how many girls are willing to be murdered by Vincent D'Onofrio. And he was so respectful of them and so kind to them and uh, really helped them feel safe mm -hmm. in the situation. What did you think when you found out Jennifer was going to be in the director? Oh, I was over the moon. I was over the moon because I, I watched Foxy Helena and I loved that. I knew she was only in her late teens when she wrote that and I knew she had a lot of talent. Um, yeah, she had a, probably a male sensibility with that. Um, in that she could really tell a good, what I thought was a horror story. Mm -hmm. She reckoned it was a fairy tale, but to me it was a horror story and I loved it. You know, I like the fact that you don't see his mom die and you just hear her scream in the background. That's much I more... I thought that was much more potent yeah. than, you know, and there's, seeing it. And there's no, there's no nudity except yeah. Vince's ass in this movie. <laughs> there were two of them actually, but the one he would only do once, uh, truly, was uh, lying on top of the woman covered blood on his testicles and entire body when I shot him from the testicle side. <laughs> I could have watched it forever. I kind of had You know, and usually movies it's just like tit, 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 tit. tit, tit. Yep. Yeah. I was very, I made a very conscious choice not to be exploitative, yeah. just to deal with what was horrifying about the situation. Yeah. Um, I think I process fear and heavy subject matter by giggling. Curiosity can be funny too and I was I was exploring things and being curious so I think that's why it was such a lighthearted set. And it certainly wasn't lighthearted when we were talking about the depth of the work but for the most part we were laughing the whole time. How old were you when you were allowed to see your dad's movies? Right away. Oh, so there was no age. So you've been desensitized to this <laughs> stuff. <laughs> I don't know if I've been desensitized, I've just been open to the good and the bad, okay. the, 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 or the dark and the light. Okay. Yeah. Well, that'd be amusing if like no one knew who you were, and they watched this movie, and they're like, "God, that director has a sick imagination." <laughs> <laughs> what would her parents think about this? Yeah. No, my uh, they, my father thought it was uh, a horror film. Okay. 
um, and I thought it was more of a horrifying psychological thriller. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, my mom really likes it. My, my stepfather said, I can't believe what you fucking called the taxi company. Yeah. So you'll have to watch to see what I called it. Okay. I thought it was funny. <laughs> you will serve me for the rest of your life. It's about how real monsters are made. There you go, that's great. <laughs> Season zero! I don't believe in spoilers once again. Like, how many jerks out there try to ruin the sixth sense for everybody? I know, you know? right? Yeah. It's awful. Or the crying game. Yeah, oh, yeah. especially, yeah. yeah. That was brutal. <laughs>